Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Do you have a bug out location? Maybe you live a nomadic life, spend some time in your RV, or you have one parked in your property or somewhere in storage. Have you thought about what if you needed to actually bug out and go to your bug out location to a secondary place? Maybe take your trailer, your camper, or what if you live a nomadic lifestyle and suddenly you're stranded or something happens, you have a breakdown or you get stuck because of the weather. What can you do to have some emergency food on hand so that you know you'll have enough until you can figure out what to do next? You may have thought you were going somewhere and you're not. Guess what? You'll have your emergency food on board. Well, one of the things to consider are these emergency meals that you can get in buckets from Augustine Farms. I bought this one at Walmart a few weeks ago and it's three full days of food for one person and it was only about $20. You can see it comes in a very compact little bucket. It's very sturdy. It clearly says on the front that it's a 72 hour emergency food supply for one person kit. It meets the QSS quality survival standards of at least 2200 calories and 50 grams of protein per day. The label shows there are 2,667 calories per day, 56 grams of protein per day, there are 42 servings, and up to a 25 year shelf life, just add water. Included are five meal packs of maple brown sugar oatmeal, banana chips, creamy chicken flavored rice, creamy potato soup, and hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup. If you look on the back, it tells you all of the ingredients in each of the packets of food that's included in the kit. It also tells you right on the back label any of the allergens. It tells you it includes milk, soy, and wheat. So you can open the bucket and inspect the contents, and as long as you don't open the packet, they're still going to last the lifespan. It comes already sealed up and it can be in storage for 25 years. Of course, it's not going to be the ideal situation if you keep it in a shed, a bug out location, or your RV because the weather fluctuates the temperature extremes. This lasts longer if you can store it between, say, 40 and 70 degrees. But that's not always possible. The nice thing about these emergency meal buckets is they're compact and you can store them away in a lot of different nooks and crannies and cubby holes and you have several days worth of food. This bucket is for three days and you can see that it's a nice compact size. You can also buy larger, taller buckets that have more days of food, some of them up to 30 days. And if you already have other food on hand, you can incorporate the other food with the emergency food and make it go even farther and last longer. Because they're dehydrated meals, you do need to have some kind of a way to heat up water and rehydrate these so that you can get the full benefit of the meals. Here's three days of meal packs I put together myself from foods that are just on the shelf in the grocery store. And you can see they take up far more room than this emergency food supply. Plus, it's much heavier. And if you're in something like an RV or a van, you need to make sure that you use the smallest amount of space and the, the least amount of weight. When I put these meals together, they're like MREs. They're meals ready to eat. Nothing needs to be cooked and prepared like the emergency buckets. That's one reason they take up more space and they're heavier, but they don't last as long. What did I put in my DIY MREs? I put two of the Hormel Completes, two fruit and grain granola bars, two sweet and salty granola bars, two cups of applesauce, and a pack of yogurt trail mix, which would equal the full amount of calories a person would need for an entire day. If you wanted to share your meal, then you could still have it for two people or make it last for two days with less calories, less food. Foods like the Hormel Completes aren't going to last in a freezing situation either, which is one reason that the dehydrated meals are a great idea. To replicate the amount of food in the Augustine Farms 3-day bucket, you could use the Nor rice or pasta sides, but you would need 12 packages to make the same calorie count 
plus you would need some oatmeal and some dry fruit. So you can see it's still taking up a lot of room and these aren't packaged to last for a long time. Packing your food into a big bucket would help it last longer, but then you have this big huge bucket you have to figure out. Where can I put it away if I want it to be discreet, take up a little bit of room, not weigh very much, and not be in the way? No matter what your circumstances, take a few dollars, invest in some long-term food storage, and put it away where you'll have it in case you need it. Having enough to eat can go a long way toward making life bearable no matter what the future holds and what the situation. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might enjoy it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.